Welcome to Retro Rivals. We had to rename the segment because someone else was using Retro Rumble and uh, hopefully no one's using this one. A new Yu-Gi-Oh series where we duel with the recently re-released Yu-Gi-Oh Retro Pack. It's full of all the best cards from Yu-Gi-Oh's Golden Age, complete with the iconic anime monsters and powerful staples of all different rarities. Every week, we'll each open a new Retro Pack mini box that's four packs and use the cards inside to craft our own decks. That also means our decks will get stronger every week, from awkward strategies to custom-built powerhouses. The first duel to take five rounds is the winner. All right, guys, I'm about to open up my box of Retro Pack. Remember, guys, this is not a full standard Yu-Gi-Oh uh, booster box. This is the Retro Pack box, where it, despite having all this box, it's only four packs, but it's four good packs. Let's get into it. I'm really hoping to see not Toon Summon Skull. This was not the Summon Skull I wanted to see. Uh, Black Illusion Ritual, I did run Relinquish last time, so I'm happy to see it. MST, I did not have Spell and Trap Mover, that's good. Mystic Tomato, I love this card. Axe of Despair is a great uh, equipped spell. Elegant Egotist for my Harpies I don't have. Thousand Dragon, Gazelle the King of Mystical Beasts, who actually put in good work for me. And Black Pen, I got two equipped spells. I had none last game. Oh man. Oh, here we go. I didn't even have like a hollow in that pack and I'm happy. All right, next up we have Chozan Ryu, Toon Summon Skull again, Gaia Power, that's cool, Umiruka, Sangen, a great floater, love that, Mask of Darkness, Arm Ninja, Flame Swordsman, and Polymerization. So my first super is Sangen. I gotta say, guys, I already like, I, I like these packs, I cannot lie. Here we go, Shining Angel. Rising Air Current, UFO Turtle. I don't think I had any UFO, tur UFO Turtles before. Upstart Goblin is good. Gate, Guardian, uh, yeah, sure. I don't even know if we have the other pieces in this set. Thousand Dragon, Jiraigamo, that's a crazy card. Oh, that's so good. Thunder Dragon, Paul used this on me last time, but I think this would be the only Thunder Dragon I have, so. I don't think I can really use it, but seven tools of a bandit is a great counter trap. So far, I've got some really good utility out of these packs. Let's uh, let's just bring it home. Let's bring it home. All right, we have oh another MST spell and trap removal. Send you, I really wanted to send you. Giant germ, Umiruka, secret rare copycat. Ooh, so. When this card is summoned, select one monster your opponent controls. This card's attack and defense becomes equal to the selected monster's original attack and defense. So I can I can potentially just deal with any one monster Paul uses. Copycat well, may not seem like an amazing card, but for this format, I'm really looking forward to playing this. And, ooh, you can summon this off of Shining Angel. And this gets its effect on summon, not on like normal summon, so it's pretty good. Harpy Lady for my Elegant Egotist that I now have. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, Baby Dragon, and another Geragamo. All right then. We got, uh, we got some good stuff here. I think I'm just double checking. Oh, I got three hollows. I got a Super, an Ultra, and a Secret. Two out of three of them are useful. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you look at these, I spent $24.99 because GameStop up charges on retro packs and I couldn't find them anywhere else in the city. Not at Walmart, not at Target. So, uh, yeah, 25 bucks a pop for these things. You guys better like this segment, okay? Make it worth a while. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get into the opening. Okay guys, time to open my retro pack that I paid $24.99 for. So it better be good GameStop. Jesus Christ. If I remember correctly from last episode, the main thing I'm looking for is uh, maybe something to summon with like my mother Grizzly and some of those other searchers. And a high attack point monster would be good too, because I don't actually have like reliable sort of tribute summons. Like Alec had summon Skull and Dark Magician. I don't have any of that. I will take a blue eyes at this point, because even if it's too tribute, at least it's like the strongest thing in the set. Four retro packs. Okay, here goes. So we've got Upstart Goblin. Always nice. Another MST. Senju. Giant Germ. I think this means I can actually now run Giant Germ in my deck because I had two of them before. So that is certainly uh, appreciated. Beast Gold Dragon. This is so weird. This is back when they were still calling like, they weren't saying black. They'd say Beast Gold Dragon. Mask of Darkness, pretty good, although I've noticed that the traps in this set aren't amazing, so Mask of Darkness doesn't always have anything great to get back. I guess if you have like Trap Hole, then that's usually worth it, but I don't think like Mirror Force or anything is in here. Magic Jammer, not too bad to get a spell by discarding a card. Flame Swordsman and Seven Tools of the Bandit. Awesome, I feel like it's weird when like a giant germ is a highlight of your pack, but 
Here we are. Can be searched with Mystic Tomato and also with Sangin. Pack number two. A Sonic Bird, not bad. Toon Summon Skull, that is not the Summon Skull I want. Black Illusion Ritual, be nice to have a Relinquished. Mystical Space Typhoon, Megamorph, Alec used this in the uh, first episode, and it's a good equip spell, a little unreliable, it makes your monster strong, but then like once you start winning, it's like, okay, never mind. Guy of the Fierce Knight, oh, it is a ritual, or not a ritual, it's a tribute monster, but it's not the best. Elegant Egotist, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, and Giant Soldier of Stone. So I've been thinking that like if I can get enough copies of Elegant Egotist and Harpy Lady, I might actually try it out in my deck. I'll also need Flying Kamakiri, which I don't think I got in the last episode as well. So that'll have to be like maybe a longer term goal. <laughs> but um, it's possible. Now what would I do with the Elegant Egotists or with the Harpy Ladies? Like I'm not really sure, but they'd be on the field, so. Mystic Tomato, Hyozan Ryu, Toon Summon Skull, Gaia Power, ooh, Solemn Judgment, super rare. Alec used this to beat me last time, so uh, I'm happy to have one in my arsenal. This, pay half my life points, negate the activation of a spell, trap, normal summon, flip summon, slash special summon, and destroy the spell card, trap card, or summoned monster. Crazy that they don't update this with like the new text, I mean, come on, just spell, trap, or summon, but Cannon Soldier. Curse of Dragon, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts, and Gravekeeper Servant. Gazelle is actually a pretty big deal. It's a giant rat target uh, with 1500, so it can swing over these pesky searchers. And man, I won't say no to a Solemn Judgment. Pretty darn good. Final pack, Umai Ruka, Shining Angel, Rising Air Current, UFO Turtle, Axe of Despair. So I didn't get a foil, but Axe of Despair is the best, I would say, equip spell in this set. Give or take, Megamorph, kind of depends. Another Cannon Soldier, another Harpy Lady, Thousand Dragon, and Gravekeeper Servant. Cool. So um, all in all, not too bad. I wasn't sure how many hollows I could expect to get. Looks like I only got one, but it is a very good hollow, so uh, I won't complain too much about it. Plus having stuff like Axe of Despair never hurts. And even the giant Jeremy and the Gazelle at this point are, are upgrades. So uh, yeah, let's get to deck building. So while I can't go into too much detail of what I got cooking over here, uh, you know, certain cards in my deck, they're not, you know, they're not going anywhere. Uh, these are just useful cards. Right now, Summon Skull is still my best one tribute and Dark Magic is still my best two tribute. But uh, I'll tell you guys right now that like the first thing's come out of my deck is Gravekeeper's Servant. Uh, this is coming out, this is a degenerate card and honestly, not that useful because it's not a proactive card. I want cards that I can use and not rely on my opponent to trigger. I knew I liked the building in the second episode because I can start like consolidating my cards for a more solid strategy, finally. I wouldn't call it consistent, but less just erroneous cards that kind of got in just to get in. So yeah, uh, this, is, this, is the, this is a good time. This is infinitely more fun than deck building in game one or episode one. So, I realize that there are some cards that I'm kind of missing and I really hope I can pull eventually in this series. First of all, I don't have a giant rat yet, if you guys can believe it. Like, I've got all the other searchers, but I have not pulled a giant rat, and that sucks for me for two reasons. First of all, giant rat summons Amazon as Chain Master, and like, she's good. Like, I would really like to actually be able to like, tutor this out from the deck. I can technically search it with Sangin, but like, imagine actually like, summoning it in the battle phase and stuff like that, I can actually get the effect. So I'd really like one for that. And also, giant rat's just the best floater in terms of stats, so that's also kind of an annoying thing to not have. I will probably be taking out these Thunder Dragons, because I didn't actually pull a third one. So last time I was like, running them more is just like a joke, because it's like, well, okay, we have to make a deck somehow. But um, yeah, not even having the third Thunder Dragon means it can't even really get me card advantage. Like, I was thinking like, oh, okay, I can use it to have discards for Magic Jammer and stuff like that, but I don't think that's gonna really come together. Now there is one thing that I am cooking and it all really relies on like being able to pull the necessary cards, because I have one. If I can pull like one more, ideally two more, 
Tune World. I want to actually try out this Tune World strategy. I know a lot of people like open these stats and they're like, oh, these Tune cards suck. But the honest truth is, Tune Monsters are special summons. And that's a big deal because, you know, we're like, oh, no one wants to pull like, you know, Tune Summon Skull, you want the real Summon Skull. But this is a special summon. So I can like normal summon something, immediately tribute for Tune Summon Skull. And also like Tune Mermaid, I can just special summon out to the field as well. Uh, I think that actually is like the only tunes in this set, unless I'm forgetting one. But like, still, I'd be willing to try that strategy out, but I need to get more Tune Worlds first, so. Until then, uh, it's just deck building city. I'll, I'll make something work. Are you ready to rumble? Because here we go. So has your deck changed, Duelist? I have made some important changes, Since I think. Since last time? Do you think there'll be enough? We need to roll a die. We don't have a die. We're gonna no, use... the dice are there. I, I, I put them on the table. They're right oh, you over moved there. them. I'm sorry. I don't what the tell heck? you. You moved the dice. We're Those dice the, are... Uh... Oh, my God. All right. High roll. Wow. Okay. One. This thing's busted. Five. Wow. I'm going first. It just fed you that. It fed mm -hmm. you that. I draw, Duelist. Are you ready for this? Nope. Get ready because... I'm setting a card face down. You always just set a card. And a no, spell or trap card. No boldness. Just Your move. Cowardice. Your move, Draw. rival. All right, do you know trouble. what I'm gonna do? You're gonna I'll set, set a card, card face down. Set a card, okay. You know what I'm gonna set? Two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. Set an additional monster. Your move. Pure cowardice. Draw. I'm not afraid, duelist. You're afraid. We'll see about that. I say as I set more cards. Normal summon Sonic Bird and activate its effect. Okay. I'll search for a ritual spell. Let's get the Black Illusion Ritual. You remember this card, don't you? I do remember the Black Illusion Ritual. Flip Summon Giant Rat. Ooh, what a rat. Okay. I know you got something I can't swing over, but I'd rather know than not know. Attack, Sonic Bird. All right, you hit my Mystic Tomato. When it's destroyed, as you know, I'm getting a Dark Monster. 1500 or less attack. Special Summon to the field. How about another Mystic Tomato? Then Giant Rat will attack your other face now. You destroyed my Amazonist Chain Master, which will activate its effect. Now take a look at your hand and a grab. Let's show the audience. Ooh! That is lame. Look at that is the options. Lame. I could get Dark Magician. You can't use that. I wouldn't even bother with it if I were you. But obviously I'm I'm taking the uh the relinquish. Take a card you can't use, fine. The relinquished to my You don't hand. have black illusion ritual, so you who says who? I've cha I could have changed my deck duelist. You don't have black illusion ritual in there. You're not a believer. I could have changed my deck. You'll never know what's in my hand you're now. A, you're not a believer like me, so. It is what it is. I'll pass that. What is this pink card in my hand? Activate Black Pendant on my Mystic Tomato. I like to play Magic Jammer. Discard the Black Losing Ritual I don't need anymore. I guess that's fair. I kind of wanted that, you know? Would've been nice. How about the Axe of Despair? Wow, he had two equip spells in hand? That's great. Yes, crazy. and now my Mystic Tomato is 2,400 attack points. Let's attack your Sonic Bird. Then in main phase two, we'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for time. Let's switch Giant Rat to defense position, set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll enter the battle phase and then Mystic Tomato attack the Giant Rat. My Giant Rat is destroyed. Affect the Rat. I'll summon Giant Rat. Set a card and pass. Draw for turn. I'll tribute both my monsters for Dark Magician. Dark Magician, attack Mystic Tomato with your superior 2500. I get both effects, Mystic Tomato and Axe of Despair. Axe of Despair is gonna tribute a monster's cost, so I'm tributing my face down Giant Soldier of Stone, so it'll go to the top of my deck. And then Mystic Tomato resolves Cannon Soldier to the field in attack mode, and then my Axe of Despair will return to the top of my deck. I gotta pass. I draw. Okay, we gotta deal with Dark Magician. But first, we got an MST in this back row card of yours. Oh, okay, it was, it was an MST. Now, the problem with Axe of Despair is that it's only a thousand attack points. I can't swing over that with my current loadout of monsters. But if I summon my Jirai Gumo in attack mode. Ooh, that's lame. With 2200, and then that's I equip it lame. with the Axe of Despair, it'll give it 3200 attack points. Next, I'm flipping up my Sangin. Jirai Gumo attacks, and I have to use so its effect. Call it before I'm you calling call it. heads, Got tails. It. So oh my half. god. I guess there's some silver lining in this playbook. Well, die. You take 700. Then 1000 with Sangin. Gotta take it. And a 1400 with Cannon Soldier. I'll pass turn. Draw! Normal summon Sonic Bird and activate its effect. Add my Black Illusion Ritual and attack Cannon Soldier. Oh, I see how it is. Just... You're not Cannon Soldiering me for game. I'll pass there. I draw. 1000 damage. And then 3200, but I do have to still flip my coin. Tails. 
Has, yes, wow. Well. Makes the game look a lot closer than it actually ended up being. 1975. The late 1900s in life points. An attack directly yeah, for game you one. Game one. You got game one. So it finally happened. I got my relinquished engine. These cards plus two Black Illusion rituals means that Relinquish is a constant threat in my deck. All I, if all I really need is a second copy of Relinquish, and this bad boy can be popping up all day, every day. These cards working in concert means that I should be able to see relinquished every single game and as this series goes on and we get more and more cards to become more consistent i'm gonna be known as the relinquished guy i knew amazon's chain master was gonna be an mvp the main problem was just figuring out how to use it it's a little tricky because if i summon it i know alec will know about that and i don't know if he's got you know ways like trap hole or like fissure so if he has things like that then it could stop it but i figured well okay i can just set this card face down let it get attacked doesn't matter if it gets like, weakened by gaia power or like, swung over by a float or whatever, you can look at his hand, take a card, and taking Relinquished, absolutely incredible. All right, are you going first I'll or second? I'll go first this time. And I'll show them how a real duel is supposed to go. I will With your defeat. Draw for turn. I will set a monster face down and end my turn. That's how a real duel is supposed to go. <laughs> a real duel, yeah. I'll set a card face down. Coward. Gravekeeper's Servant. Oh, use a name. If you can't beat him, join him. Wow. Your move, wow. duelist. I'll draw for time. Your move. I want to see what that card is. Swords are of Young Knight. It's Giant Germ. So we'll like flip that. summon the Giant Rat and normal summon Sonic Bird activating its effect. I'm going to get my Black Illusion Ritual. Sonic Bird attacks Giant Germ effect or effective servant, right? Yeah. Two cards, right? One for each attack. One, oh yeah, just one, okay. I lose my germ. You take 500, I'll summon up to two more. Did you, did you get germs. three germs? Please tell me you didn't get three germs. Cause I, I didn't get three of any of those cards. I do have two giant ah, germs. Name. Then giant rat will attack this germ. All right, another card off the top of your deck, please, sir. Oh, oh graceful charity, yes. So that's, okay. That's All right, but I will take some damage. I'm taking 400 and you're taking 500. Oh, why does it feel like you came out ahead here? And I will end my turn there. I draw. Okay, well, I can't attack anyway, so set a monster, set a card face down, your moon duelist. Draw for turn. I'll activate Gaia power to increase the attack of all earth monsters by 500, but decrease their defense by 400. Sonic Bird will attack your giant germ. Yeah, got a mill a card. Oh! Solemn Judgment, oh jeez. Giant germ's destroyed, you'll take 500. That's lame. And then Giant Rat will attack your face down with 1900. Another card, please. Ooh, Aww. that's a despair. It's my giant soldier of stone, which is going to be destroyed. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, so that was literally the card I was hoping it would be, so I could just get over it. Main phase two, I'll set one face down and pass. All right, I'm drawing for turn. We're going to set two cards face down and pass. Draw for turn. Sign bird attacks with 1,400. Aww. Hey, hey, okay. Then giant rat attacks with 1,900 and send. This is tomato. That's not too bad. Let's set and set a card. And I'll pass. I draw. Set a card face down and end my turn. All right, goodbye, swords. Draw for turn. I will tribute. Oh, boy. Both these cards for my Dark Magician, and I'll activate the effect of Sangin Engrave. I'll use my Trap Hole on Dark Magician. <sighs> you have anything for it? I'll pay a 1,000 for seven tools of the bandit. Wow, this is on top. Cool, I'll get my Relinquished. I'll use my Black Illusion Ritual. I'll use my Magic Jammer. Okay, I was like, yeah. I feel, oh, he has to have. I'm gonna discard okay. my Gaia power that's, that's kind of just sitting here doing nothing. That's fair, that's fair. Giant Rat. Attack is face down. I'll activate an attack declaration. My mystical space typhoon on your guy oh, okay. power. That's fair. Oh, wait, I didn't I didn't mail. My oh bike. yeah. It's actually just a cannon soldier. Oh, okay, I got through it anyway. Alright. So I'm but I'm still doing less damage. Well, swing with 1400 Sonic Bird. Oh! Skull. Well, you won't need it at this point. And then Dark Magician attacks 2500. Oh! MSD, okay. I needed my heart of the cards moment right now. Alright, main phase two, I'll set one and pass. Draw. Oh, I have to concede this one. I don't have any playable yes. cards. Let me tell you about Giant Rat and Gaia Power and why it's so useful in this format. So last game, Paul was able to wall me out to the Giant Soldiers constantly. And Giant Rat getting boosted by Gaia Power is 1900. But what a lot of people forget is Gaia Power also reduces the defense of Earth Monsters. So this means that I can use my Giant Rat as a 1900 beat stick that can beat over virtually anything in Paul's deck. And and when this thing gets defeated in battle, it'll float. I feel really good about these.
So Maha Vilo is actually a card that I got in the first episode and was not able to use because I didn't really have any equip spells. This little combo is deadly. I have Axe of Despair, I've got Black Pendant, I can even use Megamorph with it, and I think that just the raw attack power that this introduces to a series of relatively like weaker monsters really good. Only problem is that like after you get in one good attack with Maha Vila, you're kind of back to attacking defense position monsters. So that's a little scary, but still like 4,000 plus is a load of damage. It's the third and final game. Are you ready? This has gone faster than I expected. Yeah, these duels are... <laughs> And they're making their way, are they not? Like, I thought these du these duels would slow to a crawl. Maybe next episode it gets slower. But this episode has been quick. I'm taking the first move. Let's go. I draw. Let's use Upstart Goblin. All right, give me you a have a little gift of a thousand life points. In turn, I get to draw one card. Have another thousand life wow. points, duelist. Do you get three upstarts? Uh, I think I only have two right now. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. All that drawing for that, huh? It's about as good as it's gonna get, I Draw mean. The turn. Let's normal summon my giant rat and activate Gaia power. Giant rat attack is face down. It is the giant soldier of stone. And I'll pass there. How about I use my fissure? That's fair. That, that'll kill a giant. Normal summon my Maha Vilo. Oh, and now you are on equip spells. I do. Oh, you spells. was a sick, sick man. Black Pendant. You also have Axe of Despair. Oh my god. No way! Mega Morph. No. What if I had Mega Morph? <laughs> Double his attack? Killed you? No, 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 I no, mean, no, no. How would it here? Attack directly with Maha Vela. Oh, where's Book of Moon? Your move duelist. Yeah, sure. My move. I'll Your move. Get over that. All right, let's draw. Okay. I will set one face down and pass. I draw. Enter battle. Okay. And attack your face down monster. You hit Sangan. We'll get the Hain Hain. I'm gonna set a card face down and end my turn. There's the one problem with Ma Valley is you get one good hit and then you just kind of have to start like. And now I'm just like, gonna be attacking sets draw. For, the, for the rest of the duel. But if you top deck, you can consistently. Oh, well that's nice. Thank you. I'm going to normal summon my Senju of the Thousand Hands. Oh no, yeah, this is I'm the gonna last thing for I wanted. Oh, I got lucky on that top deck. Cause I could have searched for Relinquish with that Sangin, but I didn't have the Black Illusion ritual until now. Yeah, so you need something bird. Ugh. Ah, thank you. Blessed Black Illusion ritual. We're gonna tribute this Senju to summon Relinquished, and we're going to use Relinquished's effect to take control of that Mahavila. Okay, so these go to the grave. I don't One think burns I'm gonna... me, right? Yeah, Black Pendant's 500, and I'm not gonna use Axe of Despair. <laughs> I'm not gonna okay. tribute my only monster. <laughs> Relinquish, attack his face down. You attacked. My man-eater bug, oh my which will destroy Relinquished. All right, I gotta end my turn now. I draw. Normal summon giant germ in attack mode. Okay. Attack you for a thousand duelists. Your move. Draw for turn. Normal summon cannon soldier. I'll enter battle and attack you direct, attack your giant germ. I take 400 and you'll take 500. I'll summon two more giant germs. Oh Pass. Draw. I bet you thought you had this duel one duel. What do you mean? At no point, I felt good when I summoned Relinquish. That was it. I'll feel good when I summon him too. With my monster reborn. I special summon a monster from either of our graveyards. And since Relinquish was properly ritual summoned, he'll be serving me now. That ain't right, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look, look, that ain't right. And now I'm gonna activate the effect of Relinquished to take Cannon Soldier. I'm uh... Now I'll normal summon my Sink. And that's enough damage. 1,000 with Giant Germ. 1,000 more with Giant Germ. 1,000 more with Sangin. And I'll finish you with your own Relinquished. It started and ended with your Relinquished in my control, Duelist. 1,400 for game. Whether it's with Amazonas Chainmaster or Monster Reborn, your cards will belong to me in this series, Duelist. This, this is They'll sick. belong to me. I want everyone to know this is some sick shit right here. I cannot believe I lost my Relinquished. Again! I said I'd be known as a Relinquished guy, but at this point, Paul might as well be the Relinquished guy because I can't seem to keep them. I don't know what kind of counterplay I'm gonna need for the future to stop that, but I gotta figure something out. I finally got to use Monster Reborn. Born. This card got milled in episode one. It literally didn't even get to hit my hand. Oh, 
incredible. This was the most clutch play. I needed this so badly to deal with Relinquished because like otherwise it wasn't looking good. The main play that I kind of had going with this is I want to use Grave Keeper Servant to like make him mill cards and then like use Monster Reborn and try to bring him back. It didn't actually work out that way, but I'm still totally happy with it. We take those. Thank you guys so much for yes. watching. Hopefully you enjoyed episode two of Retro Rival. Once again, I have to say that this there are just no misses with this set. The set's big enough where there's still cards we're missing that we like to find. But I can honestly say episode two is better than episode one. Episode two is better than episode one, and I'm really looking forward to, assuming I pull some of the things I want, <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to being able to kind of commit to some more interesting strategies. I think I want our decks to continue to, you know, become our own. It's a limited pool of cards, but I still think that we can have a little bit of that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's 1-1. One, one. Thumbs if you like it, thumbs if you loved it. We'll see you guys next week. Past turn. Past turn.